All right, Eric Clapton with some cocaine. I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. All right, so what are those lessons all about down there when you click in the YouTube text box right down there? You should definitely do that if you haven't already. There are some really fun lessons uh, for beginners on there. There's one for intermediate, for more advanced players. Uh, for instance, there is a lesson on the floating thumb technique, right? Which is a cool right hand, or actually a uh, plucking hand technique, I should say. If you're lefty, it'll be your left hand. Right hand, righty, you'll probably be your right hand. But it's a way to mute the strings out, to keep your hand in a natural position. It's the way that I play bass. I love it a lot. It's not the only way, of course. But these tips and tricks can kind of catapult you sort of like into the next level, make your playing sound more professional, and make those notes really ring out. Um, it's helped a lot of people out. And that's just one of the lessons, you know, that's just an example. But it's basically, again, about, you know, having fun, getting better on the bass, and playing some music. All right, so the thing to remember here is the bass really isn't doing exactly what the guitar is doing, but the bass player can do whatever he or she wants to, because this is a lot, it leaves a lot of room for um, ornamentation right here, but I'll just tell you the basics, what's going on. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna be on this uh, seventh fret of the A string, all right? And then you're gonna do this kind of a quick little, uh, lick right here we're just going from the fifth to the seventh and then back to the fifth so you start off on the seventh just like that you're on the fifth seventh and then fifth kind of like the bass catches up with the guitar just like that and then you go from the fifth fret of the E to the fifth fret of the A so as you can see, really all you're doing here is you're playing in this little box right here between the fifth and the alternating kind of between the fifth and the seventh frets on the A string. Now, I'll just do a round of it real quick. This is like the basic. Just like that. going between the 5th fret and the 7th fret, really on the E string and the A string. And you can, you know, change that up. Uh, make it a little funky. Hit a little staccato note on the 7th fret. Then go 7th fret of the A, 7th fret of the E, then back to the 7th fret of the A. Then do another one of those, maybe. Fifth fret to the seventh fret to the fifth fret. That'll look like this. Back to the fifth frets again. Uh, maybe go... Something like that right there. So what you're doing there is I'm on the seventh fret. Or... Just like that, normal. But instead of just going to the fifth fret, you're going to kind of slide into it from the third fret, and you can even just do this chromatically, go third, fourth to the fifth fret. That'll be like this. Just like that. Or you can slide into it. You know, ornament it however you like and whatever you feel at the moment. And right at the end here, where you're going to uh, the fifth fret, so in other words you did. What you're gonna do is, for the chorus, uh, it runs right into this part. So you're at the fifth fret of the E, fifth fret of the A, and then you're gonna hit the second fret of the um, of the uh, D string. I'm sure that'll sound familiar to you. So you got second fret of the D, fifth fret of the A once again third fret of the A, and then you do a little staccato hit on the second fret of the A. Incidentally, that's the same as you do it just like that. You've been playing on the seventh and the fifth. No reason why you shouldn't just keep it like that. Seventh on this all on the A string, seventh fret, fifth fret, third fret, second. And then he sings cocaine, of course. And then you're back into the... Thank you. 
It seems like after the uh, choruses, he does this. It's kind of nice to, you know, have a repeating motif like that. All right, you got it. Eric Clapton with his very, very, very famous song, Cocaine. Um, really super easy to play, really fun. You're going to have a lot of fun playing that with other people. Sounds good. And um, thank you so much for listening. I am Finbar Bass. Don't forget to click on the uh, YouTube text box right down there to get those lessons if you haven't already. Other than that, you can always subscribe to Finbar Bass. Tons and tons of stuff on there. Uh, lots of theme songs and just normal songs. Songs from a long time ago, songs from just yesterday. Lots of stuff on there. So you're going to have fun. You're never going to get bored playing bass. And have fun with it, yo.